hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see one of the scenario so our requirement is like we have to trigger a email whenever any azure data factory pipeline fails for taking example suppose you have a multiple pipelines this is the pipeline one this is the pipeline two this is the pipeline three like that you have built a multiple pipelines and in real time we build a multiple data pipelines in azure data factory now whenever you are building a pipeline and suppose after one month you are working in a, some different project so monitoring of this particular pipeline is also your responsibility you have to monitor all the pipelines which you have built so how actually you can monitor how actually you can check like whether this pipeline is running properly 24 by 7 or not so in that case what actually we do we generally try to trigger one email alert notification so whenever any any data pipeline fails, we will get an email then we can go to that particular data pipeline and we can rerun and we can see the error so that's how actually it works in a real time so it's very much important to know about the email and alert how actually we can set up and how actually we can monitor our data pipeline that actually we are going to see in this particular video so let me open my azure data factory so this is my azure data factory what actually I will do, I will just create one uh, new pipeline. So I will create a new pipeline. In this new pipeline, let me create one set variable. So I will, what I will do, I will go to the setting, I will create one variable. Variable name I will give as a file name. Uh, I will select as a string. Click on the confirm. And the value I will pass a employee. Now if I will debug this pipeline will run means uh, whenever this pipeline will run my set variable vari value will give me the uh, name as a employee now what actually I will do this pipeline uh, let me give this as a at the rate int 1 2 at the rate int and let me give 1 2 3 something I am converting this uh, string into a integer now in this case I should get error because we have already defined our variable as an integer but we are passing uh, as a string value so that is not possible right and that is incorrect also so in that case what actually we will do uh, in this case we should get an alert whenever this pipeline is failed because this pipeline is no, no, not correct right in this case we should get an email alert so how actually we can set up an email alert so for that what you have to do you have to come to the monitor in this monitor you have to come into this alert and matrix so what we have to do we have to first click on this alert and matrix click on the new alert rule here we have to give the alert rule name so i can give any alert name like pipeline failure alert something name i am giving pipeline failure alert severity you can select whether it is a highly important uh, data pipeline which need to rerun so that kind of the severity you can select i will go with the save zero and after that we have to select the add criteria after that we have to select the add criteria in this add criteria what is the criteria based on that you want to get an email so that you have to select here we have a multiple option but we want to get an email whenever the failed pipeline runs matrix whenever any failure happens but for cancellation for other thing also if you want to get an email that also you can select click on the continue and after that you have to select this name right so whether you want to have this email only for the one pipeline or for the multiple pipeline suppose you have a multiple pipeline then you can select all and after that the failure type so i want to have for the all the failure type selection and the condition you can see greater than zero then we should get the trigger so i have selected only one pipeline right so any pipeline which failure greater than zero then i should get an e email so that is the criteria suppose you have a three to four pipeline so if any pipeline failure happening which is greater than zero then i should get an error means if one pipeline also throwing error then i should get an email so that is the criteria that's why zero we have selected and evaluated based on the period over the last one minute any failure happens so that is the criteria i am selecting but based on your requirement you can select that click on the add criteria and after that we have to configure click on this configure notification so first we have to create an action group so i will give test project something you can give any name sort name we have to specify test project i will give and the add notification so here you can add your notification in your email your sms or through azure app notification 
so i will go with the email i will mention my email id here i will give my email id in this particular email id i should get error that i have selected even if you want to get your email in your phone number that also you can set up click on the add notification this is what we have done now click on the add action group once you will click on the add action group in the left side the alert rule should be configured now click on the create alert rule and you can see enable rule upon creation and that is on so that's good so you can see this is the uh, alert we have set up now i'll go to the author uh, this is the variable we have created right so if it is showing the publish all then you can publish it otherwise uh, what actually we'll do we'll try to trigger it so i should get error because my pipeline is not correct right uh, we have defined a string variable but we are passing an integer so i should get error for that so i'll click on that trigger click on the trigger now before to that and before triggering i will first show you in my email you can see this in email id i have got one email this you have been added in your azure monitor action group so because i have registered my email id right that's why i am getting this particular email now what i will do now i will try to trigger it because this pipeline will fail right so in, in the case of the failure i should get a email id email for that so it is running so let's wait you can see it got failed now whenever it is failing in, in that case we should get a alert now you can see i got one email alert this is the alert i got and here it is mentioned about the uh, data factory name and what is the error and we also get an option investigate through which actually we can investigate and we can monitor our pipeline so that kind of the alert we have we can set up here so yeah i hope you got the idea how to do a email alert setup